Welcome back to Educator.com. We're now going to go through some extra examples to try and distinguish between whether or not we have a, ran a discrete random variable or a continuous random variable. So the time left on a parking meter, again, time is always going to be a continuous random variable. The number of bats broken by a baseball team in a season, the key phrase here, number of bats. So what we're going to have is a discrete random variable. Number of fish in a pond. Again, the key phrase there is number of fish. It could be zero, one, two, it could be in the thousands. That will be a discrete random variable. Now going along with this example, total pounds of fish caught on a fishing trip. We're now measuring weight. So because we're measuring that total weight, we have a continuous random variable. The number of gumballs in a vending machine, well again, the key phrase here is going to be number of. So looking at that could be 20, it could be 30, it could be 50, but we can count the actual number. So that's going to be discrete. And then finally, the time spent by a physician examining a person, no matter how short or how long that is, it's time, which is a continuous measure, so we have a continuous random variable.